The driver's seat area conveys a sense of space and luxury while putting the driver in control of Azera's high-tech features. The standard proximity entry with push-button start allows drivers to operate the Azera without removing the key from their pocket or purse. With the key in range, pressing this small button on the door handle unlocks the driver's door. Pressing it twice unlocks all the doors. When exiting the car, pressing this button once will lock all the doors. The driver can also use the proximity fob buttons to lock all the doors, unlock the driver's door or all the doors, unlock the trunk, and activate the panic alarm. To start the car, press the start-stop button while pressing the brake pedal. To shut the engine off, place the shift lever in park and press the engine start-stop button again. To activate the accessory mode without starting the engine, do not press the brake pedal and press the start-stop button once. Press the button a second time for the on mode and press the button again to turn it off. If the battery in the key fob ever loses power, you can open the driver's door with the removable mechanical key. Then press the start-stop button with the key fob to start the engine. Be sure to visit your authorized Hyundai dealer as soon as possible to replace the battery in the key fob. To operate the standard power side view mirrors, press the toggle switch to the left for the left side mirror. Then adjust the mirror using the four-way switch for left, right, up or down. Press the toggle switch to the right to adjust the right side mirror using the same four-way control. When the mirrors are properly adjusted, place the toggle switch in the middle position to lock the controls. The power door locks are also located here, along with the power window switches. An auto-down feature is standard on both front windows. Press fully down on the switch to lower the window automatically. Auto up is activated by pulling fully up on the switch to close the window automatically. The driver can disable the power window switches by pressing the lock switch. Pressing the switch again unlocks the window switches. Heating elements are included in the mirrors for use in foggy or misty conditions. To activate the side mirror heaters, press the rear window defroster button. Azera's driver enjoys the comfort of a standard 10-way power seat with adjustable fore and aft, seat back recline, seat cushion height, and tilt. Mounted on the seat itself is the adjustment for lumbar support. The technology package adds a power adjustable driver's seat cushion extension for extra comfort. The technology package also adds an integrated memory system, or IMS with two driver memory for driver seat, steering column, and outside mirror positions. With everything set to their liking, the driver presses the set button and then either button one or two. To ease driver entry and exit, the seat moves all the way back and the steering column moves all the way up when the engine is turned off. Settings for these easy access features can be changed through the User Settings menu in the Trip Computer. All Azeras have a manual tilt and telescopic steering column. Pull the lever downward and adjust the steering wheel to the most comfortable position. Then pull the lever upward to lock the column in place. The technology package adds power positioning for the steering column. A standard leather-wrapped steering wheel and shift knob add to the driver's feeling of luxury and elegance. Cruise control is also standard on Azera. Switches to operate the cruise control are located on the steering wheel. To set a cruising speed, press the on-off button. The cruise indicator will illuminate in the instrument cluster. Accelerate to the desired cruising speed above 25 miles per hour. Press the toggle switch down to set and remove your foot from the accelerator pedal. To accelerate, press the toggle upward to increase cruising speed. To decelerate, 
press the toggle downward to decrease set cruising speed. There are three ways to cancel the cruise control. Press the cancel button, or tap the brake pedal, or press the on-off button. Bluetooth hands-free communications is standard on Azera. The Bluetooth driver interface is integrated with the standard navigation system and uses the display screen. To pair a mobile device, first press the phone button below the touch screen, then press the on-screen settings button, then the pairings button, and the add to button. The system will supply the passkey code that is needed for input into the mobile device. Once a device is paired with the vehicle, if the device is compatible, it will download the mobile device's phone book. Be aware that different mobile devices have differing levels of system compatibility, and this may affect the phone book download. To make a call, press the voice recognition button or the call button. Use the phone button to answer a call. To end a call, press the disconnect button.